welcome to Bra with Mary. Today we have a standing glutes and thigh series. So you guys know that I love a standing glutes series. <laughs> so I'm really excited for today's class. You don't need any equipment. This is an amazing class if you're traveling because all you need is honestly not that much space and no equipment. So this is a fantastic class to just squeeze in when you're on the go. Clear a little bit of space and join me at the top of your mat. I'm gonna to face to the left today in a squat. So feet are in parallel, heels are underneath your sit bones. Go ahead and come on down to a squat, hands come to the heart. And we're just going to start with a hold. So really basic, really simple, but let's set ourselves up before we come into all this crazy stuff on one leg. So really feel how your hips reach back. And in opposition, your heart and the crown of your head are reaching forward. So we're so long through the spine. You have this beautiful neutral position, so the belly is hugging in. The ribs are leaning together, and we're staying in the neutral position, so we're not squeezing the glutes so much here. You're feeling the sitting bones actively reaching back to the baseboard of the wall behind you. Really feel how your inner thighs press out away from one another, and then imagine squeezing your ankle bones in. So you have this really nice opposition of shins in and thighs out to help stabilize your knee joints. Relax your shoulders. And again, actively push your heels into the floor. Feel the backside of your legs fire up. Now from here, full range, we're going to rise all the way up. We're going to squat all the way down. Pick it up. Go, it's up and down. Go, rise and squat. So every time you stand, really push through your heels. And every time you squat, notice if you're tempted to change the shape of your spine. Remember that your spine isn't changing shape. It's just changing orientation. So you're in this beautiful neutral spine as you stand. You keep that, you just hinge forward from the hips so that your shoulders stay stacked over your knees. Four more, go four, three, two. Stay low, just pulse your hips a little down, little down, little down. Now from here, sweep the arms back behind you. Keep the palms facing the floor and really feel how much space you can create in your chest. So even though this is a lower body focused class, I still want you to find activation in your abdominals, softness in your shoulders, and lots of space across your chest. Eight more pulses, eight, six. You're here for four, three, two. Stay low, bring the hands back to the heart. Lift just your right heel off of the floor. Push into your left foot, pull your left hip bone back, take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, I want you to rise up, pulling the right knee to the chest, and catch your right chin with your hands. So just finding balance again, pushing down into the right foot, squeezing, excuse me, pushing down into the left foot, <laughs> squeezing your outer left glute, and then really standing tall. You can pull your right thigh a little closer in, just get a little stretch. Now see if you can stay right where you are. Just release your hands, and reach the arms up to the ceiling. Feel how much length you build through the standing left leg. Really pull the outer left glute into center. Take a breath. Exhale, hands back to the heart. Lower back down to your squat position. Stay low in your squat. Lift up through your right heel and start to pulse your hips down. Go a little down, a little down. So we're gonna transition now into some focused single leg work. We're gonna start with the left leg today. But I want you to take all of the information you just set yourself up with and apply it. So we're driving down into our left heel. We're driving down into the ball of our right foot. The hips are reaching way back. You're still in that neutral spine with your shoulders hinging forward. Abdominals are really active. Collarbones stay really wide. Now, as much as you can, feel that your left hip is pulling back here and your inner thighs are continuing to press away from one another so that our knees stay nice and stable. You have eight more pulses, eight, Six, you're here for four, three, two, stay low. Take your right foot and step it out on the diagonal. Pause. So you'll notice that you rotated your pelvis. My left foot didn't move. So my left toes are still pointing the same direction they were before. Inner thighs are pressing away from each other, but now I have a slight external rotation. So my body is oriented to the top right corner of my mat. From there, take your right foot, step it back into your squat position. And then step your right foot out, right back to the turn out squat. You had to get in, you take it out. You rotate parallel, rotate turn out. Now I'm gonna challenge you 
to go whatever speed feels best for you today. I'm going to stay slow today. I'm going to really focus on keeping my left thigh bone nice and stable. So really pushing the inner thighs away from one another, grounding down to the left heel. But of course, if you want to speed up and get your heart rate up, do it. Press it in, press it out. Two more, take it in, take it out. Last one. Now I want you to hold that turned out squat. Maybe lift your right heel off the floor, pulse your hips, little down, little down, little down. Really feel the inner thighs pressing open. Push down into your left heel. Very similar to what we were doing in a traditional squat, right? You're still hinging forward from the chest, from the hips, I should say. You're still driving down through your left heel and pulling your left hip bone back. Eight more pulses, eight, six. You're here for four, three, two. Stay low, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps back. Find your squat. Stay low. Extend your right leg back behind you. Drive down into your left heel. Pull your left hip bone back. Right toes tap. Right toes reach. Right toes in. And right toes back. Now, if you want to stay like this, you should stay like this. If you want to add the arms, everything pulls in, everything out. In. And out. now here, in this little scooter position, if you want to pick up your pace, it's another opportunity to do that, okay? So if you're looking for a little bit of an elevated heart rate today, then you should pick up your pace here. Four more times, go four. And reach. Three more, it's in. And out. Two more times, you've got it in. And out. The last one pulls in. We're gonna hold everything out. Bring your hands behind your head. Now actively push into your left heel. Pull your left hip bone back. Hips, you're not gonna move, inhale. As you exhale, I just want you to twist from your rib cage to the left and back to center. Rib cage twist to the left and back to center. So we're not moving in the lower body. Hips are staying square. We're just twisting from the mid spine towards the front left leg and back to center. Now notice what's happening with your left toes. Are you curling and gripping your left toes? Try to soften and lengthen the toes. Really drive down into your left heel. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Two more twists, you've got it. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Last one here, go exhale, twist. Now hold it center, big breath in. As you exhale, maybe you release your arms out in front of you. Push into your left heel and then reach forward, finding a single leg deadlift. Right toes reach back behind you. Flex to the right foot if that feels okay for you. Nice and slow, we're gonna pull the right knee into the chest, coming all the way up to standing on the left leg. Nice and slow, you're gonna drive the right heel back behind you, coming into that single leg deadlift balance. Four counts go, it's four, three, two, one, four counts, it's back. Three, two, one, yes, now of course, if the balance is too much today, just go ahead and take your left hand to a wall or to a chair. That's an amazing option. If you don't have access to those things, you are more than welcome to let your right toes tap down to the mat when you come back into that single leg deadlift. You might also think of it as a warrior three position. Two more, go right knee in and in and in. You take it back and back and back, amazing work, last one goes in. Two, three, four, you drive it back. Two, hold it there. Soften your left knee slightly, pull your left hip bone back, and really actively push your left heel down into the floor. Maybe hinge your torso forward one more inch. Things will change in four, three, two, bring your right toes down to the mat. Quarter turn, face me. Lateral lunge, bending into your left knee. Hands can come to the heart. I want you to take this right heel off of the floor. So you're just on your right big toe. Pull your left hip bone back. Push your left heel down into the mat. And then you're still in that neutral spine, just hinging the torso forward. Right toes tap into meet left. Right back out. Yes, you've got it. Tap it in. 
and reach it out. So very similar to the scooter. If you want to pick up the pace, I want you to. If you want to stay slow with me, let's stay slow together. I'm hoping that your left leg's on fire. <laughs> That's the goal here. My left leg is absolutely on fire. Drive down into your left heel and continue to pull your left hip bone back. Four more, go in and out. Yes, three more, go in and out. Two more times, you've got it, in and out. Last one, tap it in. Now take your right toes up, hold. Drive into your left heel. Just pulse your hips down and down and down. We're almost there. You've got it. Down and down. Press your inner thighs away from each other. Hips reach back. Left heel grounds. And spine is long. You got 16 more. You've got it. 16, 16, 14. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that dramatic shake. Eight more times. Go eight. Go six. You're here for four. Three, two, here's your hold, inhale. Exhale, pull your left hip back, sink even lower, and then maybe extend your arms out in front of you. You've got it. Soften your shoulders, press the inner thighs away, and sink even lower in your hips. You hold for four, three, two, wide leg forward, fold, melt over both legs. Let your head hang heavy, oh, and maybe sway from side to side here. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> so, of course, you have another side to do. So take a moment, take some deep breaths, set yourself up for that next side, big breath in, and a big breath out. Soften your knees. Drive down through your heels, slowly roll yourself up. Now I'm gonna face the other direction, so I'm still facing you. You don't have to. Coming into a squat position. Set yourself up in that low squat one more time. Now you're probably gonna notice some imbalances. <laughs> your left leg probably feels a little more works than your right. Really actively pull your hips back. Press your inner thighs away from one another. And just find a moment here. Breathe in. Breathe out, check in with your abdominals, and then we're gonna rise all the way up to stand. Lower down to a squat, faster, go, it's up. And down we take it, rise, and lower. So as you stand, you're really pushing your heels into the ground. And then as you hinge forward, lowering into your squat, double check, you're not doing anything funky with your upper body. The shoulders are relaxed, the ribs are knitting together, Low back stays nice and long. You have four more here. Go four, three, two. Stay low. One inch pulse, little down, little down. Now here's where we can really set up our knee alignment. So inner thighs are pressing out. Ankle bones are squeezing in. Feel how stable you could really make your knees here. You have eight more pulses. Go, it's eight, six. You're here for four, three, two, stay low, lift just your left heel. Take a moment, really foundation your right foot into the ground. Drive into your right heel, relax your right toes, and squeeze your outer right glutes. Now rise all the way up, pulling the left into the chest. Maybe you catch the left shin. Focus on that standing right leg. Drive down through your right foot, squeeze your outer right glute, and find your balance here. You know that there's some balance work that come on, comes up a little later, so we're just setting ourselves up. Now see if you can keep everything where it is. Just release your arms up to the sky, finding even more work for the standing right leg. Big breath in, and a big breath out. Hands come to the heart, left foot down to the mat, come back down into your squat. Lift just your left heel, pushing into the big toe mound and the pinky toe mound of the left foot. Drive into your right heel, start to pulse your hips down and down and down. So we're starting this whole series focusing on the right leg. So take a moment, notice if you're taking tension into your face and in your shoulders, like that <laughs> anticipating tension, right? <laughs> and see if you can just soften, soften everywhere you can. Focus instead on really pulling the right hip on back, driving into the right heel, and feeling your inner thighs pressing away from one another. 
Eight more pulses, you got it. It's eight, it's six, it's four, three, two, stay low, step your left foot out on the diagonal and pause. So now I'm orienting my hips towards the front left corner of the mat. I have a slight external rotation, right leg didn't move, right toes are still pointing straight forward. Inner thighs press away from one another. Now from here, left foot steps in, left foot steps out. You take it to your squat, to your turned out squat. And again, here's a great chance to speed up. If you want, please take it. The number one thing I want you to focus on is keeping your right leg still. So feeling how your pelvis can rotate around the head of your right femur bone. So my hips are moving around my right thigh. Take it in, take it out. Every time you step out, really actively push your inner thighs open. Three more. Go, two more. The last time, take it in. Now this time, hold the turned out squat. Left heel lifts, inner thighs press open, pulse your hips down and down and down. Stay active in the abdominals. We're spending a lot of time hinged forward in this series. So if your low back starts to bug, just really double check. Are you as active in your core as you could be? Right, cubic bone and belly button hug towards one another. Side to the waist drop in. Driving down through your right heel. Eight more here, go eight, six. You're here for four, three, two. Stay there, breathing. As you exhale, take your left foot, step it back to squat. Now step your left toes back behind you and pause, finding this lunge position. Right hip pulls back, inner thigh squeeze in, drive down into your right heel. Now left toes tap in to meet right, and right back behind you, take it in, and back. You've got it in, now you can stay right here, or maybe add the arms you pull, and reach. You take it, pull. And reach. Now, if you want to speed up, go for it. I am so sorry if you can hear all of that thudding. <laughs> that is my 100-pound dog with the world's biggest bone doing God knows what. I have no idea what she's doing. I can't see her. <laughs> Pull it in. Reach it out. Relax through your right toes. Continue to pull your right hip back. <laughs> and then again, if you want speed, you should take it. You have three more. We pull it in. We reach it out. Two more times it's in. And out. The last one here goes in. Now we hold the out. Hands come back behind your head. Inner thighs squeeze together. Hips are going to stay still. You take a big breath here. As you exhale, you twist to the right. And inhale, unwind back to center. Exhale, twist. And inhale, center. Push down to your right heel. And then relax through your right toes. So really elongate through the toes, try not to curl them up. Now notice as you twist to the right, are you letting your right hip spin forward? Try to really pull the right hip bone back. Three more twists right here, you've got it. Exhale, twist. And inhale, center, two more times, it's exhale, twist. And inhale, center, last time here, it's twist. Now hold this one center, take a big breath in. As you exhale, release the arms out in front of you, and then reach forward, coming into a single leg deadlift. Flex through your left foot, rotate your left pinky toe down to the floor. Nice and slow, left knee pulls into the chest for two, for three, for four, left leg reaches back for two, for three, for four, you take it up, and two, and three, and four, you take it back, and two, and three, now make sure you're not locking out to the standing right knee. You have a little bit of softness there. And of course, you know your options. If balance is not happening today, you can take your right hand to a wall or to a chair. Or if you prefer, when you reach the left leg back, you can instead, instead rather, tap your left toes back down to the mat. Two more times, left knee comes in and in. Stand tall, you've got it, back, and two, and three. The last time here, left knee comes in, and in. Now take it back for four, three, hold it there. 
Feel energy back through your left heel. Pull your right hip bone back and actively drive down through your right heel here. Hold and breathe. You're here for four, three, two. Left toes come down to the mat. Quarter turn, face me. Lateral lunge. Bend into your right knee. Come up to your left tippy toes. Pull your hips back. Press your inner thighs away from each other. Now find more stability into your right foot. Left toes tap in to meet right. Reach them back out. You've got it. Tap them in and reach them out. Now again, here's a chance for speed. Take it if you want. Now as you find this movement with your left leg, really actively push down through your left, right foot. Pull your right hip back and try to stay low as low as you can in your right knee. Four more times. Pull in and out. Yeah, three more. It's in and out. That's two. And out. Last time. Keep the left toes out to the left. Pull your hips back even more and pulse your hips down and down and down and down. You got it. Little down. Driving down through your right heel. You've got it. Reach and reach and reach. 12 more. Here go. 12, 11, 10. You have a hold in eight. Four more times. Go four, three, two. Here's your hold. Maybe the arms reach out in front of you. Now pull your hips back. Sink even lower and hold and breathe for four, three, two, wide leg forward folds, melting over both legs, letting your head be heavy, swaying from side to side if that feels good for you. Now, if you know me well, <laughs> you know I never end on a single sided exercise. So we have a quick little finisher. It's nothing crazy, okay? Enjoy the stretch. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, really let your head go. Soften your knees. Turn your legs out. And then slowly roll yourself up into a horse position. So, heels will be under your hands if your arms are outstretched. Inner thighs are rotating up to the ceiling, so we're turned out where toes are pointing toward 10 and 2. Bring your hands to your hips and just sink low here. Maybe find a little bit of movement. We haven't had this big external rotation yet. So if you need a minute to just kind of open your hips, feel free to take it. Take an inhale and an exhale. Stay low. Just think about squeezing your heels in towards one another and then release the squeeze. Yeah, you've got it. Squeeze the heels in, release that. So I won't be able to see you doing anything. That sounds ridiculous. Of course I can't see you. You won't be able to see me doing anything, but what I want you to feel is the energy of your heels squeezing in, and then you relax that squeeze. Squeeze the heels in, relax the squeeze. Two more times, squeeze the heels in, relax the squeeze. Now squeeze the heels and hold it. Just pulse your hips, little down, go a little down, little up, little down. So with the heels squeezing in, really feel how your inner thighs can rotate up to the ceiling. You get some activation for the outer glutes and into the outer thighs. And then we're going to get great big burn all the way down through all parts of the quadriceps. The inner thighs, outer thighs. Eight more. Eight. Six. You're here for four. Three. Two. Stay low. Hands come back behind the head. Last time today. Inhale. Hinge your torso forward. Exhale. Lift your shoulders up. It's hinge it forward. And lift it up. Yeah, so legs are not moving. Just your torso is coming that hinge position you've done a lot of today. Two more, you hinge it forward and lift it up. Now take the hinge forward, hold it. Soften your shoulders, hug the abdominals in, re-squeeze your heels together, final set you, drop your hips down and down and down. Feel your inner thighs pressing open. Feel length through both sides of the waist and know that this is it to your final hold. You're here for 16, 15, Final hold is coming, yes, in 12. Squeeze your heels, it's eight. It's six, you hold it here in four, three, two, here's your hold, squeeze your heels together. Reach your hips back and sink even lower in your legs. Hold and breathe for four, three, two, rise all the way up, 
Woo, shake it out. Quadricep stretch. Catch your left foot with your left hand. Amazing work. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Slide the left knee back and pull your pubic bone up towards your belly button. <sighs> big breath in and a big breath out. <sighs> One more time, inhale and exhale. <sighs> Release your left foot and hook it back behind your right. So you crisscross the feet, the pinky toe edge of the feet are together. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to come into a forward fold. Feeling the outer left hip all the way through the IT band running along the outer edge of your left leg. Push down to the big toe mounds. And if this doesn't feel like enough, go ahead and walk your hands over towards the right, getting even more opening for the outer left leg. Let's take three big breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Two more, breathe in, and out. Last time, inhale, and let it go. Walk your hands back to center, soften both knees slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll yourself up to stand, unwind your legs, quadriceps stretch on the right. Catching your right foot with your right hand, squeeze your legs together, Slide your knee back behind you and pull your pubic bone up towards your belly button. Amazing work today. I love standing glutes so much. I just think they're so useful in your everyday life. <laughs> like how often are you in a bridge position, right? In your everyday life. But all day long you're standing, you're walking upstairs, you're running, you're standing up from a seated position, right? Essentially coming up from a squat. Big inhale. Big exhale. So you can kind of set yourself up, releasing your right foot, hooking it back behind your left. Pinky side edge of your feet are together. Soften your knees as much as you need. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. If you can kind of set up that knowledge and information in your body, it really allows you to use it without thinking about it too much in your everyday life. You know what I mean? Of course, you can soften your knees as much as you need to here, pushing down through the inner edges of your feet. And if it feels good, you can walk your hands over to the left, getting even more opening for the outer part of the right leg, the right hip. Two more big breaths here, inhale. Exhale, try to soften. One more time, breathe in. Let it go. Walk your hands back to center. Soften your knees, push through your heels, slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Uncross your legs. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. And that is your class. Amazing work today. I hope you're feeling really strong, really accomplished. And as always, I'll be back next Monday with a brand new bar class. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Seriously, please comment. I want to know what you want to see. I'm building my content calendar for this new year. So I absolutely want to know what you really are looking for, what you're craving, even if it's just I want more full body bar classes, whatever it might be. Have a fantastic rest of your day. See you.